Number two. His strike zone's the size of a tuna fish can. Now remember what Grandpa said. You can spend the money any way you want. <laughs> I just paid some loser 50 bucks to walk up the down escalator all day. <laughs> I bet it's 11 o'clock. I bet it's 11 o'clock. Oh, 9.15. Grandpa, by giving my inheritance to charity. But which one? Hmm, what's this? Most banks are for the haves, not the have-nots. I'm sorry, but we simply can't accept your collateral. I'm just a goat, but even I know. ...out of it, and then indignantly bring it back for a full refund. <laughs> Hide a sandwich in his hat? Mary Poppins myself to work with this umbrella? Oh, me? You know what happens when you push your luck? Yeah, the luck lasts longer. Thanks to the power of returns, this store is our closet! <laughs> <laughs> Principal Skinner, I need to convince Nelson to come back to school. Seriously? Why? With Nelson gone, lunch money's finally making its way to the cafeteria. Nurples are returning to their natural, non-purple hue. Besides, I hear he's doing quite well with his bicycle pimpering. He is. He's paying people $11 an hour to work for him. $11? And he used it to buy an Ellery Queen mystery. But there was one mystery Ellery Queen couldn't solve. Why a man was named Ellery. But my point is... Whatever I said before I started talking about Ellery Queen. Nelson, I just wanted to say that I realize now you can... Coach, there is no coach! I just wanted to see if you were wearing a bra. Oh. <laughs> Your four eyes saw a lot today, Millhouse. What's the skinny? The fifth graders played a great game. They got a great program up there. Great fans. But this was just our day. Whatever happens, they can never take away... <laughs> You know, if they do this regularly, maybe it could count as gym. Did you wear those same clothes yesterday? No, I have two identical sets of these clothes. I see, with a stain on the shirt in the exact same place. <sighs> Things aren't good at home. Run, Stay positive. I've been dying to try it. Mart, who are you cutting up that chicken for? The kids aren't here. Huh? Oh, myself, I guess. Who's kicking? No one. No one's kicking. Huh, sorry. <laughs> oh. well, if I do it, you're supposed to stop. Don't tell a chicken when to cluck. You're not the chicken. I'm the chicken. Chicken! <laughs> 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 Bart? Good. Seven years ago, a time when twilight meant the end of the day, and not the most fantastic horror franchise of all time. <coughs> Earth's single sun was setting, and the mayor began to speak. Even though most of this town collapsed... Yes, you may. <sighs> Mom, I'll admit it. I wanted to create a devastating explosion to get back my mom. <sighs> Bart, sweetie, I love you kids with all my heart, but damn it, I need something for myself. I made you a coffee mug on Mother's Day, isn't that enough? It's close, but no. Lisa Simpson, your actions have brought devastation upon this town, and all because of your selfish desire to be accepted by others. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> you try it, Maggie. <laughs> Ooh, condos. Lenny, do you live here? Yeah, I just moved in. I have a drip of dots for breakfast every morning. At lunch, I get a massage in front of strangers, and then I spend the afternoon browsing cell phone skins. And even no one wears silly bands anymore! They... they don't? <gasps> what the... Oh. Enough! I don't trust this place. Where are the cashiers? Huh? Oh. Ship request from. Nelson, you've just given us the template for our site. I don't care. 
If we don't move, his odds of getting us both are 374 to 1. Hmm. Typing delete does not delete. It is gratifying to see all of you bowing in prayer, the light of God shining on your faces. Uh oh. Bernice Hibbert keeps liking Bumblebee Man's posts. That's how it starts. Why did I make this church a Wi Fi hot spot? Dislike! Dislike! <laughs> I don't know how to use the phone on my phone. Hey, did you guys listen to squirms? But all they got was a diet of worms. There they remained to this very day. So now you know, pranks do not pay. Yes, Simpson! <laughs> Chunked Russian nesting donut. <laughs> Gotta eat the rest. <laughs> ah, they're gone. Where did these devil donuts come from? Uh, I don't know. The guy who gives the sexual harassment seminars brought them in. Actually, Carl, there's no workplace appropriate use for the word bazoons. What about thunder bags? This has neutra bones. In my house, we found human bones. Emily and I have always dreamed of restoring an architectural masterpiece. I have a graduate degree in mid-century kitsch. Thanks for turning us on to this place, Homer. You're a pretty cool guy. Really? I'm... <gasps> Cool. Oh, can I man hug you? Sure. Hmm, that's not applesauce. Oh, uh, you don't have to be uncomfortable around another nursing mom. Breastfeeding is just a healthy thing we all do. It sure is. There's nothing more natural than that. It's just that Maggie's already milked me today. Hmm? We walked into a gallery and it was just a guy crying. That was the art. The kids are a mess. You brought them home exhausted and pretentious. No, we need to take kids to grown-up stuff. That's Terrence's parenting style. Parenting shouldn't have a style. Parenting is about bedtimes and password... Always use another one of these. Bowling shoes. Not vintage, but, you know, in a pinch. Dino cool. Oh, I get it. A T-Rex for the T-Rex. How long did it take him to think of that one? Oh, man. Hey, my dad worked really hard to make that. This is our neighborhood. We were here first, so you should leave. We're not going anywhere. Our house just got written up in Dwell. Oh, no, it's true. When I humble brag about this article, this town's about to get as popular as toe sneakers. The us types are coming. Oh. Who called him the Sixth Simpson? Not sure why. Chip did such a wonderful job with my biography. Chip, may I do a lidiar con mi peña después que mis padres se murieron jugando paintball? Chip was the life of Sector 6F at the nuclear plants. Oh, you cost me a piece of all that. Oh, don't cry. If it makes you feel worse, I am the man who bought the stock you sold. Oh, but a rich man like you has no regrets at all. Just one. The girl that got away. That man could really put pressure on you. Hello, Kent. Well, well, well. Rachel Maddow. Everyone came back for Chip's funeral. I was flying from D.C. to New York, and of course I had the layover in Springfield. How's the gang at Channel 6? Look, let's get this out of the way. Just because we both worked at Channel 6 and you made it big and I didn't doesn't... I'm not a newsman anymore. Now, since you're so good at finding things, find the exit. There is the little matter of my fee. You're becoming very tiresome. Who moved my desk? Oh, here I am. Cable News Alley. March, with all due respect, that's ridiculous. My Sarah listened to Mozart and Churchill speeches when she was pregnant with Ralphie, and he can't even open a refrigerator. 
pushing. Always, always pushing. Really? Oh, yeah. That kid's a mess.